computer on. Okay, no, Mom. What do you say? Mommy, you crazy this Done. No. Small, small. Ah, you have to join my video today. Hello, guys. Welcome to another vlog. Say hello. Hello. How you doing? Fine. Okay. So, how are you doing at home? Very fine. Very fine. You're enjoying your stay at home. You want to go back to school? No! Why? <laughs> I'll tell your teacher. Why don't you want to go back to school? Because Mrs. Faith is not there. Uh, what if Mrs. Faith is there? And she's not. But what if she's there? Come and sit here. Did you bring shorts for her? No, I brought shorts and there's no shorts. Oh, yeah, change her, yeah, change her. Cora, come this way. Let Eva go and change her. Hey, sit, sit, sit. She's she, she trying to jump from. She's <laughs> already. Getting ready. <laughs> Get Eva, can wear your trouser, okay? No, no, no. Wear your trouser, okay? No. So that you can jump. You, you want to jump. You don't want to jump. Wear trousers so that you can jump with trousers. No, no, no. So she doesn't have any shorts, black, anything. So what the it's clothes washed. Mean? It's not dry. Yes. I've tried this morning. Yes, jump. No. Mommy. Mm hmm. Mommy, can we jump now, now, now? No, no I'll do your no. jump. I don't want to You don't want to wear trousers? Yeah. And uh, you will not be in my video now. And I want to go out. You don't want to go out. You don't want to go out, Eva. Eva, do you want to go out? And jump really high into the sky. I have friends. I have Miss Elsie. I have Miss Peace. I have Miss Rose. Mm -hmm. See my cat. Mm-hmm. So why don't you want to go to school? And because Miss Efe is not there. Who told you Miss Efe is not there? I told myself. Yeah, that's what I'm saying now. So you don't know, you're telling yourself. Should we go and check? Um, of course. Of course, you want to go and check. <laughs> Mom, <laughs> check! Not me, is you! Oh, I should go and check. Yes. Okay, so if I check and I tell you that Miss Efe is there, will you, will you go to school? I want to wear skirts. I'm not sure she's not there. You're not sure she's not there. I'm say if me, I go and check and I'm sure that she's there, will you go? Mm, yes. You go. So I want to do an obstacle course for them. Eva, Eva, Eva. Wait, I want to do an obstacle course for them so that they can play. And leave me alone. I did it for them yesterday. They played tire, tire. <laughs> Were you tired yesterday? Yes, we just tired yesterday. Yeah, uh, so bring the bring the chair closer. Bring the stool closer. <laughs> Eva, Eva is so active, eh? Oh. Alright, so stand here, stand here, stand here, Eva. No, stand here. I just don't worry, just go, just go. You know Eva does not like uh, 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 this thing. Oh yeah. Ready, set, go. Faster, faster. <coughs> Eva. I know they are not that bad. <coughs> Cora, wait, allow Eva pass. It's turn by turn. So, I'm going to leave them to do that while I edit my video. Whenever they're tired, they'll relax. Their body will calm down. Because most times when you're trying to stop them from playing rough play, they don't need to stop. Except you allow them to play to their heart's content. So, I'm going to allow them to play. <laughs> oh, so, I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, so I just woke up from one very sweet sleep like this. Eh? Rain fell this afternoon. Although the rain has been falling off and on since morning. But this afternoon, it fell really, really well. So I was just too tired. I just left my children in the parlor, went to my room, locked the door, <laughs> locked myself inside the room and slept. I told my auntie, nobody should disturb me, okay? So I slept really well this afternoon. And yeah, so right now it's evening. I think it's past four, but I want to take my kids out. I want to go and buy 
um, something from the supermarket. I try to take my kids out once a day, even if I'm not buying anything, we just drive around and come back. But today, I need to get something from um, the supermarket, so I'm going to take them out with me. Uh, yeah, Farah has even kind of gotten used to it, so right now. Before you know it's evening, she will ask me, Mommy, are we not going out today? She has gotten used to being driven around every day. And also, part of why I do it is so that they can get some sunshine, get some vitamin D, and also, you know, stop not being too, you know, cooked up in the house because it affects them too, you know, staying at home 247 without any outlet. Um, so I just try to engage, keep them engaged, and also, you know, take them out to go and, and, to go and play. Oh! Yes. Mommy, I'm so holding your phone. Okay. When I when I went to sleep, what were you doing? I'm just I'm just calling you. You were calling me? Yes. No, before you came to call me, what were you doing? See if I see. I don't know. Mommy so still ran in the clothes. You see? He just ran in the clothes. What happened? I might not carry the clothes in. No. I'm actually the rain beat the clothes. No. It did. I saw it. Rain beat the clothes. Let's go find. Oh. <laughs> so what is? It's not our clothes now. Mommy, yeah, it has stopped raining. If I come down from there now, again. Mommy, so I don't like coming out here with you. I'm cold. Let's go, Eva. Let's go out. Yes. I need to hold your back for back. Hmm. I need to hold your phone back. Okay, so where are we going to? I don't know. Eva, where are we going to? To buy. To market. To market. No, we're not going to market. Eva, come here. Ho, ho. Come. I can't find it. Eh? We can find something. Yes, we're going to buy something. What do you want us to buy? And buy chicken, frosting, and many on and on. <laughs> is a car. Is a tricycle. Is a tricycle car. Is a tricycle. <laughs> Ava. Try another one. Yes. Yeah. Ava. Yeah. 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 Don't go there. Oh yeah. What do you want us? What do you want us to buy? What should I buy for you? Um. Cora, leave that place. Oh. Ava, what do you want? Hmm? Move your ma. What do you want me to buy for you? Chicken and rice. Chicken and rice. Get chicken and rice for Eva too. So we'll play outside. You ride your bicycle? Yes. And what else? And eat. And eat what? And eat bread. Eat bread. Are you hungry? Are you hungry? If you're hungry, eat a bar. Yes. You eat a bar. Yes. What are they eating? This is eating bread and eggs today. No, when did I say that one? Yes. I said I told you yesterday night that we eat bread and egg, and I said no, we eat it in the morning. Mm -hmm. It's not bread they eat this morning. Which one is bread and egg this night? Mommy, can we just ride our bicycle before breakfast? <laughs> Which breakfast again? You think this is morning? Yeah. You mean before dinner? And she's going to bring your our bikes to ride in the car. Right outside. You two, you want what? Mommy, what are you? Your reflection. What are you doing? Don't run, don't run, don't run. Where are you going? Where are you going? Let's go this way now. This way. You want to go that way? Oh, you are going. Now. Wait, wait, but Eva must enter. Careful. Okay. Eva, are you comfortable?
I don't know why we have trash like this here. I don't know what's happening now. Are, be, are they the, are the dustbins closed? Hmm? Or the wood that carry dustbin have they closed? You guys, as small as this girl is, she tries to ride Cora's bicycle. Like, <laughs> mommy. Yes. As small as she mommy. is. Yes. Cora, can put on the lights. Mommy, can we video Eva? Um, you want to video her yourself? Yes. Right, okay. I want to see her. Wow, Eva is so riding nice. Okay, Eva, it's time to go. What about what happened to you? I'm just beating you, Eva. Hmm? Yeah. Hmm? Go, go, Eva. Yeah! <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, Go, go, Eva, you're trying. Go, go. Go, I'm going to close this one now. Okay, I'm still going here. <laughs> don't make it. Eddie, don't hit. Uh -huh, you hit that thing. I'll start feeding on this thing. Come here. <laughs> We are back. You guys, one day my husband sent me a message that anytime I'm going out, I should make sure that I have extra cash to give you know people around because there's aggressive begging in Port Harcourt. So when he told me, I said, Well, nobody should come and beg me. I don't want to go out. <laughs> this one, which, which kind of aggressive begging? Ah. You know, but today when I went out, there was a boy that came to my window. A young boy, let's say that boy is not more than 17. So I don't take it up to 17. One boy. So you didn't you see that boy that came to my window to beg me? So the boy now came to my window, you know, to, was telling me that, that he was hitting my window, was like, I said, What? And I said, Is there anything I can help him with something? I can't remember how he spoke English. And I said, because I was trying to make a call when he was doing nothing that I don't have anything. Mommy, hmm? door. Yes, he was hitting my door. You remember the boy? Yes, I remember the boy. The boy. And the boy was his name. His name was. So, anyway, when he went in, I was just like, you know what, let me just help him. Let me give him something. So he went in and bought Indomie. I was not like, so you had money to buy Indomie. Anyway, it's not like I'm against, you know. He, anybody asking but Eva. it's in my window and you know it's just in the no no for me especially when i heard that it's Eva, aggressive begging it actually made me you know a little bit scared so anyway when he came out and i now took money and gave to him okay uh and then he left i was just thinking that for people to start resorting to begging at this point there eh, to just show you how how terrible things are right now I'm seeing other countries, like in America, I'm seeing where they're sending their relief funds, you know, and they're using the relief funds to buy all sorts of nonsense. Meanwhile, in Nigeria here, people who need money are not even seeing it. You know, I saw where they were sharing bags of rice. I don't know whether this whole social distancing thing makes sense in Nigeria, because at the end of the day, you say people should practice social distancing, so people should not go to work. But you want to share relief materials, and you're throwing it off, you know, the, the top of a truck, and everybody's gathered, pushing, trying to get their own, you know, you're just throwing, you're not even distributing the things well. It's a matter of that means whoever is lucky or whoever is the strongest will take the most and go home. While other people are just, people that, might, that are fragile uh, or that don't even have anybody to represent them will not have. So, I don't know, yeah, I understand the idea behind lock, so, uh, social distancing and lockdown. I understand the idea behind it. But is it practical? Is it practical in a country like Nigeria? You know, like someone said, every time we'll be copying and pasting um, policies without really thinking about, you know, whether these things can actually work in, in this country, okay? So I'm not saying that, I'm not, I'm not saying they should not or they should. I'm just saying we need to go about things better. And for me, I think it's because 
a lot of things have already gone wrong before now so that's why i mean we don't have okay they said they're doing big like i was talking about, one of my videos i remember i remember one of my videos i was talking about how we don't have a unified you know system of identifying people like social security number or something we don't really have a unified system if you want to do bvm you will register differently if you want to do um your passport you register differently you want to do java differently everything differently you know why can't we incorporate all these things into one you know single data that you know that okay all these people it's finished now actually data where you can you know recognize people who people's earning brackets okay so if you can recognize that okay people are, are people between this um, particular income range at this time are going to need relief material you just you know why are all of them money at once i don't understand why you know things are happening like this i don't know why our own country i don't know why our things are always different i don't know i don't know why our things are always different you know so yeah like i said it's not, i'm not against lockdown totally because it makes sense but at the same time is it practical for our nation is it practical because at the end of the day the same social distancing you're trying to enforce you're not enforcing it because many people are walking up and down in <laughs> many people are walking up and down i drove out now cars are everywhere i even saw one place that looked like they were having an event okay cars are everywhere people are everywhere i saw a truck that had army men you know behind it they were sitting packed together nobody was wearing gloves or masks you know so at the end of the day are we not are we not crippling the economy for nothing you know because i know that this is also a discussion that is happening in america as well so it's not like it's a nigerian thing it's happening in america as well like are we not crippling the economy you know and you know you're, you're stuck between hard choices like should we cripple the economy you know enter into a very great depression you know inflation everywhere you know poverty everywhere are more people not going to die from that than they will die from the virus you know so yeah but why do you give me this thing that's finished mommy. so at the end of the day it's just sad yes mom you said coronavirus mm. come come and tell me what coronavirus is come here I'm not sure. I've tried to explain it to her before, but I'm not sure she understands. Okay, what is coronavirus? And coronavirus is... Mm. Is virus... You know what virus is? What is virus? Oh, virus means... Um, Eva, what is virus? Why is it home? Hmm? Why is it home? Coronavirus... Is, do you know what germs are? What is germs? What I And germs are. <laughs> when. Go with your person. Hmm? Bye! And germs means that. And that you didn't wash your hands. Yes, germs are particles that can make you sick. Yeah. And one, a name of some gem, <laughs> and some gems are called coronavirus. Do you understand? So if you don't wash your hand, coronavirus can stay on your hand and make you sick. Not on your hand, in Jesus' name. But corona, yes, coronavirus can stay on someone's hands. There are gems. It stay on someone's hands or someone's face, and it will make the person sick. Anybody that has the germs, the coronavirus. Yeah, yeah, so that's why you need to wash your hands. Wash your hands. And you need to sanitize your hands. Sanitize my hands. Yes, and that's why you are not going to school. So you guys, I have to go and edit one of my videos right now. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, good morning. So the time is currently i think it's past nine or ten o'clock i just finished filming a video that i want to go up this night like <laughs> to be honest today i've already told myself that i'm not going to today is friday i told myself that i'm not going to you know upload any video on today let me just relax but anytime i wake up in the morning i'm like hey i'm not gonna put out a video today people now say ah this girl is not serious <laughs> So I had to push myself to film a video, but yeah, um, I'm the video is going to go up today And yeah, today is my friend's birthday. I wanted to go to her house or carry my kids to her house anyway We won't touch her or anything, but we'll just stay from far and wish her happy birthday and I'll just drive back home uh, So I'm gonna be doing that later today But yeah, let me do and try and edit my video quickly and put it up and then I think I have to go to market. Not what I think I have to go to market I have to go to market because I have to cook soup. My kids soup has finished 
and what else i don't even think i have soup myself i'll just cook one soup for all of us soup. maybe i'll cook okra soup and yeah whatever whatever anyway i have my smoothie here that's what i'm having for breakfast this light is really terrible um you guys i know some people that notice this thing this is actually paint that eva was peeling in fact there was one that is here she peeled it out worse um she peeled out the paints that was here because this paint I don't know what they call this paint but it's not a regular type of paint it even has glitter on it I don't know it's not a regular type of paint so yeah you can actually peel it off like if if I were to put my fingers here I can actually peel this paint off so that was anti was it Eva Abikora? No, it was Eva that peeled it to that extent anyway we're not about to repair it's gonna be like that so let me just quickly edit my video and I'll see you guys later. Eva, bring my dress, oh yeah? Eva, I move my dress. Remove my dress, you want to fall? Now that my eyes are black and I look like Cora <laughs> with a <the> permanent <laughs> eyeliner. Sweets, but you want to buy sweets for daddy? That is not around. Why do you keep saying you want to buy sweets for daddy? That is not around. Okay, I want to buy sweets by myself. For who? For me. Okay. You're not buying for Eva. Yes, I'm buying for Eva. Okay, where is your money? And you get to give me me. Yes. Where, where will I get the money from? It's me. I am mommy. You are mommy. Yes. <laughs> I'm daddy. <laughs> I do like uh, Eva. Do like mommy. What does mommy do? To to sleep. Hmm. To sleep. Mommy to wears you to sleep. Yeah. Okay. I wake up in the morning. Oh yeah, Cora. You do like daddy. How does daddy behave? Daddy behaves like I am daddy. Yes. And who am I? Your Cora. Mommy. Mm -hmm. And this is Cora. This is mommy. And I'm Ava. Yes. Okay. So me, let me do like Ava. Mommy carry me. Mommy carry me now. Carry me. <laughs> Are you carrying me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, carry she's trying to carry me. <laughs> mommy carry me. <laughs> oh, you also kiss me like mommy. Like I used to kiss you. <laughs> I love you, mommy. Oh, I love you too, Ava. Okay. Oh, I Eh? Give me what Yes, I'm your best friend. Oh, I'm your best friend. Can you remove my dress, please? 